most adults in the world would never ever consider trying to take clothes off of someone who's asleep unless of course they're an intimate partner of them and they're trying to get busy with them but as I begin this broadcast and begin it with something silly and yet true I have to tell you I almost hate you the reason that I hate people today is pretty straightforward you're harming me you're interfering with me you're assaulting me you're abusing me and you're physically deforming me in this lifetime men have the right to the privacy of their bodies I don't know how many fucking times I have to say this to you that God is gonna kill you for what you're doing to me you don't have to believe it you don't have to conceive it but I promise you God can achieve it and what's gonna happen to those who've been lying stealing and cheating God out of his rights to be God meaning how God has the right to take someone home at any time you see humans don't have the power of God humans can of course take their own lives but that is not what someone is asking them to do when they drive into a parking lot get out of the car and walk in your store when someone walks in your store how you treat them creates an environment but if you're trying to say that your store's clothing only is utilized for the black community you're full of shit because we have people like NMNN who do a lot of things in the community we have people all over the world who like diversity but when you lie steal and cheat me out of my life out of my body hair out of my beard you created a wrath not of God but a wrath that will be coming for you and that's not odd we all know that what's good for the goose is good for the gander we all know the golden rule about do unto others and you have them do unto you we all know that there is a life force that meanders and what it says is I will kill you you see when a man says I will kill you he's probably just spouting off and letting off steam but when a group of people decide, decide to kill a life then we have a problem because that violated many treaties and many federal laws that are important to protecting you and me in this lifetime we have to learn where our boundaries begin and end is absolutely true in this lifetime we have to recognize that poverty in the community does exist but it doesn't have to and the reason that poverty still exists is pretty straightforward it's not that you're enabling people to eat it's that you're not helping people to find their skills and encouraging them to go off with some help from the government to literally listen and arm themselves with that in life we have moments of time to speak the truth about what we are experiencing and what we need to be delivered but when employees of a company go way too overboard they really go way overboard and that's not good for you or me in this lifetime we have to know what God is doing what he is not doing God has the right to fix any child he wants to we know the story of a beauty pageant girl who literally said that God length strengthened her body lengthened her limb and openly we heard about it for probably weeks on end because she was still shopping in her favorite store despite the fact that she doesn't want other people to shop there and explore in life we have most of time to speak the truth and the truth is there's a most powerful God that most people are avoiding most people are avoiding because they don't want to be told how to live and the whole point of the Bible the Quran the Vedas any work like that is to teach people to be more humble before the Lord 